One of the, I would say, somewhat unanticipated consequences of the pandemic is it did shift patterns of demand in a way that kind of reshuffled the deck. Workers have a lot more bargaining power than they have had at any point in the last, say, 40 plus years. Childcare is, you know, a terribly paid occupation as soon as workers had some more bargaining power and some more options. Um, many people, you know, choose to leave occupations like child care worker. There are some months that I can spend maybe 900 to 1100 a month. And then there's other months I'm not even going to add it up because it will make me sick. My son has autism. He's intellectually disabled. And he also has epilepsy, which when you throw that, you know, medical piece into the mix makes it even harder to find care. The pandemic has not been fun. I, I would not, I would not like to relive this place. I had nobody for almost four weeks at one point. Um, and I went through a period this year where I went for two and a half weeks with no workers as well. When you can go to McDonald's and make more than you make working as a childcare provider, it's a kind of a no brainer to me because of the work that's involved taking care of children. The Child Care Resource Service is funded by the state of Illinois. Parents call us, tell us what they're looking for. We work with them and send them out a list. Parents have a hard time finding providers that will um, take the children and um, actually provide uh, quality care for them. They just do not get the payment that you would get if you were teaching in school, per se. I've had more than a dozen child care workers in the past. Sabrina has been my best hire recently. He and her get along beautifully. They play together. They have fun together. It's a good match. He respects her. She respects him. It's, it's a really good fit. Nobody really wants to take care of anybody else's kids, to be honest. And in a nutshell, that's what it is. I train so many people and then they realize what all actually goes into it and they don't want to actually put forth the effort to take care of somebody. You have to find caregivers who understand that being a single mom means that things are a little different. I might not be able to pick up my phone when you call me every time. Um, you might have to call a backup person you might have to problem solve that situation right then and there by yourself and then figure out if you did it right later on. You just take it a day at a time and I mean, it's my life, it's what I do. I wouldn't trade it for the world.